yeah, 10 year old Darcy would be pretty, um, pretty happy with me, I reckon. It sounds pretty surreal, to be honest. It's um, obviously I've supported the club my entire life and um, yeah, to be appointed in this role, it's, it's a pretty extraordinary thing for me and kind of um, in many ways, sort of the culmination of, you know, a lifelong love of the club and to be able to serve as the captain is, um, you know, is, is pretty extraordinary. So I'm feeling pretty, um, pretty humbled and pretty excited. Fly just called me into his office pretty discreetly the other day and just after training and um, and told me just yeah broke the news that you know the players had, had voted me and that I was the guy to to take us forward and had to be pretty discreet because there was a lot of uh, there's a lot of glass big windows in his office and had to keep it a secret so couldn't do a big reaction or give him a big hug or anything so we had to keep it pretty discreet but. Um, which was funny, but yeah, no, that was nice hearing it from him. It's, um, he's obviously the person that I'll be working really closely with, with the other, the rest of the leadership group. So um, yeah, it was special hearing it from him and, and he was really happy for me and that really came across. So it's, um, yeah, it's something I'll remember forever, for sure. It is a new era, isn't it? There's been a lot of progress in the last few years in particular and you know I suppose this is this is a part of that as well moving um, forward towards a new generation which I think is really exciting it's as exciting for us as it is for all the fans so um, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what we can come up with and uh, and yeah where we can take this club because I think we've seen it's um, it's a pretty special thing and it can uh, it can mean a lot more than just wins and losses in a in a you know scoreboard column it's um, it can be a really powerful powerful thing for people so um, yeah if we can keep progressing who knows where we can end up. Yeah and the other exciting thing is you know it's not just me as captain that I get to work with the rest of the leadership group and we have some really exciting appointments there as well. It's going to be fantastic to work with those guys obviously with Taylor and Jeremy being in there being quite experienced um, in the leadership group for a number of years and then Braden coming in for the first time is really exciting for him and I'm stoked to see him get elevated into this position I think um, yeah, one of our real features is is the respect and the trust and the diversity we've got between us. You know, we don't always agree and we often have really, really good discussions and um, but we're always really united once, you know, once we take the field or once we dive into training, which I think is, is a real strength of ours and um, helps to ensure that our group's represented and um, yeah, that we just, we're a bit of a powerful force when we want to be. So it's, um, it's awesome working with those guys again and I'm really excited to do that. I've learned so much from Scott and um, the prospect of taking over from him is I suppose somewhat daunting but I suppose it's a testament to him and his leadership that you know I feel ready and I feel like I'm prepared um, and a large part of that is from observing and working with Scott for so many years. He's been an extraordinary sort of symbol of excellence and stability for our club over you know his nine ten years as captain and he's led you know this playing group through a lot of a lot of um, you know difficult situations and a lot of highs and a lot of lows and I've watched him and definitely learn a lot about composure and um, communication and um, and just yeah commitment to, to really high standards so a lot of the lessons that I've observed and learned from Scott I'll definitely take forward for sure and um, you know he's it's a testament to him as well that he's offered to really help me and really mentor me through this process as well in the next few years so that's um it's yeah that's makes it a lot easier when you've got someone like that in your corner who's um yeah who's there for support hi dad how you going yeah good did you hear yeah sharing the news with my dad was was really special obviously he captained the club himself um, a few generations ago now but um, yeah I spoke to him on the phone he was in um, he lives in America now so I was spoke to him on the phone I think it was 1 a.m. there um, and so he gave me a sort of half asleep half awake congratulations which was a funny conversation yeah two generations now have captained the club it's it's pretty unusual I think it's only happened once in Collingwood's history so um, to be a part of that is yeah really extraordinary and is a tremendous honor so it's um it's pretty cool and, and pretty surreal that we both get to we both can share in this experience and he can sort of experience it again through me so um I'm that's a really nice part of it and definitely um 
yeah, it definitely adds to our bond and sort of gives us a new level of, um, of understanding of each other. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool, cool experience. Yeah, I want to be a leader, a captain who's, um, who's proud, really authentic and someone the fans can, can really relate to as well as someone who's supportive and, um, and empathetic to, to my teammates and someone who sees young players come into the team and helps them to be really supported to, um, to put their strengths on show for all the fans to see. In 2023, I think we can, we can really achieve anything. I think if, if last year proved anything in this group, um, we showed enormous character um, and a huge amount of trust with each other and um, a real appetite to, to really take the game on and so I think armed with those attributes it's pretty exciting what we can achieve in 2023 and beyond but as we know it, it takes work, it's a really difficult com competition, um, things change every year and things get thrown at us so we're under no illusions that it's going to be a difficult journey and we're going to need all the fans, all the support to be with us, you know, through the ups and the downs and, um, yeah, it's definitely not going to be an easy journey, but it's, it's one that we're up for and um, I think we can, we can achieve anything.